Uh, another another tricky topic. Dabo Sweeney over the weekend, and I, we're not going to spend long on this, but I just wanted to kind of explain my thinking on it. Uh, I had a tweet that that went kind of crazy uh, because there was a picture sent to me of Dabo Sweeney wearing a Football Matters shirt. Um, yes, he wore it on Saturday at a whatever vacation, whatever thing that he was on, and he took a picture with some random fans, and they posted it, and it was a blue shirt, like a navy blue shirt, that has white football matters on it. Uh, for those that don't know, that is a National Football Foundation shirt. Um, the Black Lives Matter stuff started in 2016. That shirt, the National Football Foundation started footballmatters.com as an initiative type thing in late 2016, after all that stuff. So it was a direct play on that. Well, the font like, is the exact same. The lettering is the exact same. It's yes. on a navy blue shirt, which I thought it was a black shirt from the picture. But nah, it's navy um, blue. I'm navy also, blue. My, my eyes are getting bad the older I get. Well, but, and, like, and it's, it's, it's definitely like, a play on they, on they took the slogan and, and they, they took this thing that's important and they turned it into something that's not important. Now, now, don't get me football, wrong. That, hold on. Football is important, and, and we can have a different... It's not the same importance. Yes, but okay. They, because the, the National Football Foundation, it, it, they've got a big-time thing where they, they support and sponsor all 775 football teams in the United States that are all uh, not not NFL, et cetera, but all the college teams, whether it's junior college, uh, Division three, Divi- NAI, whatever, right? It's all of these different teams and yes, football does matter, but in this spot, the reason why I asked the question, why did Dabo think that this shirt was a good idea today, is very simple. This is timing. not a good time to wear the it's shirt. It's just timing. Yeah, it's it's, it's not that you can't deaf. ever wear that like, shirt. It's just timing. No, it's tone deaf. And it, what's the what's the phrase we've been saying? Read the room. Like, yeah, read yes. the room. This is not yes. a good time to do that. Yes. Uh, there, the there is an opportunity to make a big old Jesus joke sometimes, and it yeah. can be funny. You don't do that in the heart of Bethlehem. It's just not the right place. You just, it's just hard. It's a hard sell. It's a tough room. Yes, like, it most certainly is. Now, do I agree with his right to wear the shirt? One hundred percent. Oh, well, I don't think yeah, there's no anything say, wrong with the shirt. Like no. I really don't. Um, the Brown Yeti jumps in and said, "This just sounds like SJW is getting mad." Uh, look, we're not like Chris no. and I are not social justice warriors at all. Like, no, there's nothing wrong with the shirt. The timing of the shirt is a bad idea. It, it, it's just—it's almost like. But now we're bringing light to the this, fact that I'm, he was I'm wearing. Trying, it I'm trying to be time. reasonable because I know my biases. This is an individual I strongly dislike, and I find to be very fake. I, I, and so it, it, it's, it's hard for me to even judge this thing appropriately because I strongly dislike Dabo. And I and I do. I think all that all shucks, the the Lord has blessed me stuff is just as and I don't mean to be hair typical to, to anybody who has strong belief and all this. I don't mock that. I'm not trying agrees to agree with you, by the way. I just don't buy it. I don't I think it's fraudulent and I think this guy has never suffered once in his life. Okay. No, maybe he did. I don't know anything about his childhood. Okay. I, I got no he, idea. I can't speak. He had some less than ideal circumstances. He, okay, yeah. that's that's so, fine. That's but fine. It, but, but right he's, now, he's today, he now. lives in a castle in South Carolina, and he owns a beach house somewhere else, and 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 life is pretty good, and that's fine. I'm not knocking him for that, but I just find his rhetoric to be mind-numbingly just nauseating because he's because I just think it's fake. Yeah. So when it when I see something like this. It's impossible for me to have a even a feeling about it because I don't even know what I'm looking at. I have, I think he's a car. I think he's become a cartoon character. He, and he I think that's has. a bad thing for a football program. Uh, ben said Dabo Sweeney and Kirby Smart are my two list uh, two least favorite individuals in college football. Um, and Matt Miller jumped in and said common sense is poorly named. Yeah, uh, look, I like Dabo Sweeney. Uh, Michael said, "I'm sick of Dabo playing the underdog." Yeah, well, that but that's oh, what he's that's what he's, he's built the biggest the whole thing school on. in the country outside of Alabama, and yeah. oh, nobody gives us any credit. But, but that's, oh, that's shucks! What he everybody built thinks that we're no good. That's that's what he built his entire organization on. That, but and that's fine. At some point but, in time, the organization is built, and you have to you, you have shift. to evolve. 
You yeah. can't be the big dog and still walk around all pity and, and lowly. Okay. Agreed. Agreed. So let me, let You're me dive in here because you, you obviously have a bias here. Uh, me, like I'm, I'm still, I mean, Dabo played at Alabama. Obviously I'm an Alabama fan. I'm, I'm always going to have a soft spot for him, but yes, I do agree with you on all of the, the stuff that you're talking about. The cartoon character, the, uh, the victim card, the, everything about what he does in this situation it, it wasn't that he was wearing the shirt. It was the timing of him wearing the shirt. He's been wearing that yeah. shirt for years. That's 100%. Fine. That's fine. It is, how can you be that brain dead to wear the shirt right now? Yeah. Like, it, it just take a few weeks. You know, this is this is just a bad time. To, <laughs> Don't go ahead. post it to social media. Yeah. It, yeah. It's just a millions bad time. of people follow you. Well, he he didn't post it. Somebody else well, posted yeah. it. In which case, obviously he's tagged in it and it gets out there. It's just use your brain a little bit. Like yeah. be smarter about these situations. It's it's kind of the same thing. I mean, we just had a situation that popped up from 2017 with an assistant coach using a racial slur, and you didn't yes. call a team. You didn't address the team. Yeah, this is common sense kind of stuff. Like how in the world? And I understand wanting to keep it under wraps. You can keep it under wraps and still talk to your team about it. Because obviously there were people that, <laughs> Michael said, maybe that's poor old Dabo's only shirt. Yeah. <laughs> oh, else. poor guy. It might so, be. You know what? Maybe maybe we could start a GoFundMe for Dabo. So. Get him a wardrobe. Get him a wardrobe with, with you there know. Is, there's nothing wrong with supporting the National Football Foundation. There's nothing wrong with supporting the uh, any of that kind of stuff. I'm not uh, the saying issue, there is. The issue is, no, and I understand that you're not. But what I'm saying is, you got to be smarter than that. I'm not a fan of their marketing team ripping off something that they've ripped off. That yeah, that, that that does turn me off a little bit. Now that's a that's a football organization. I don't thing, I don't not know a, not a Dabo thing. I don't know that that's exactly what they did, but the timing no, of dude. when they created no, 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 no. no that's that's 100 percent what they did. Change the font, change the coloring, do something different. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it, it was. It's a little strange. It's a little strange. All right. Finally, since we're we're 